The Observer next. And why are so many paramedics odd-shaped, Leah? <laughs> I'm not sure if the paramedics are oddly shaped or the new vehicles that they've got mm. uh, aren't the right shape for them. So uh, staff at an ambulance service have claimed they're unable to drive the new ambulances because of their height and body shape. So the East of Eng England Ambulance Service has rolled out, they've spent £54 million uh, on these converted Fiats to replace their, their previous Mercedes vans, which I think were slightly larger. Uh, but apparently 160 staff members have had problems, and of, of these, 94 were unable to drive the vehicles. So the pedals are too close together, uh, so you can't, like, with your work boots on, you, you hit all the pedals at once. Uh, I mean, this is basically just me in any car, to be honest. Uh, but some, some other issues, uh, back pain, limited space for legs, li uh, restricted view of the windscreen, and an emergency responder in the back was severely burned by a heater. So they've got all Only these... there was an ambulance there to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the... it's probably the fastest anybody's been treated. <laughs> yeah. They were already in... The, uh, the treatment zone. But, yeah, like, uh, they, they're aware of the issues and they're working to address them. But it's people over five foot nine. So, first of all, they, they brought out this report saying that they've got to standardise uh, all of the ambulances across the UK, however much that report cost. Then they buy all these things and then they did all this extensive testing and then they figured out afterwards, oh, mm. if you're over five foot nine, guess what? It's not going to work well for you and they're not, they're not usable. Yeah. And you, and you want tall first responders. You want somebody who's able to, like, I carry agree. you down a flight of stairs. Totally. You don't want some, you know, little... little you, you, want, you want Chris yeah. Hemsworth, don't you? Not yeah. Danny DeVito. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I'd want, I'd want both of them. Like, uh, Danny DeVito can take my feet and Chris Hemsworth can take my arms. I'll just yeah. take anybody if they would just turn up within a reasonable amount of time. Uh, the other troubling aspect of this story is that they are replacing the vans um, and they're now going to be Fiat's. Yeah. Mm. Right. Do you want to die in a Fiat? <laughs> yeah, you want to be in a Mercedes. It's a right? terrible way to go, isn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> is this the is this the worst thing about NHS cutbacks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah. gone from Mercedes to Fiat's. Well, we're going to be uh, Skoda's pretty soon. Actually, hey, Skoda's. Skoda's, Skoda's, Skoda's are good. I got a Skoda. Skoda's. Great. Somebody's obviously bought a Skoda. I got a Skoda. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's the ones that are that are terrible now? They start with D. And they're, it's like six oh, grand for well, a new one. Well, they're, they're they're budget rather than terrible, but right. I think they're called um, uh, Dacia. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Tesla. Yeah. yeah. Very oh, well. expensive. Oh, really? So, yeah. yeah, well, old Leo Kurse will be driving one of those soon. Don't worry about that. Let me tell yeah, you, if he keeps going at this rate, <laughs> um, let's uh, crack